So today we are going to discuss the last problem of lead code by Euclid 69. So we are given uh, one grid and uh, some of the cells are occupied and some of the cells are empty. We are also given a stamp uh, which is a rectangle of given length, stamp height and stamp width. So we have to cover uh, every unoccupied cell of the matrix by some stamp and uh, we have to return if it, it is possible to cover all the cells of the matrix by st some stamp or not. So and another very important thing here is that stamps can overlap. If stamps cannot overlap then I don't know how to solve the problem. So uh, so let's uh, drive into the solution. Okay. So first, first uh, let, let me take the first input and uh, write it here. Uh, the first input is 1, 0, 0, 0. 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 and 1 0 0 0 and uh, stamp height uh, is stamp height is equals to I think 4 and uh, and I think uh, uh, one second uh, I think the, there are 5 columns in the grid so there are 1 0 0 0 stamp height is 4 and stamp width is 3 so we can uh, with one stamp we can cover uh, a, a rectangle of length 4 uh, sorry height 4 and width 5 so let us ch check how to like cover every cell so if we pick the first stamp and put it here then uh, then the, this this uh, this portion will get covered with uh, the rectangle with 4 height and uh, with 3 then with the second stamp we can cover this portion so the answer is yes okay i i hope you have seen this because it is explained in the ex, uh, explanation of the question so now what we can see is that if we can uh, like <clears throat> let's say this is the point okay so if we can cover this with some stamp we will just cover it with the with the stamp like let's say if this point is covered by x number of stamps then we will pick x stamps and cover it okay if it is possible so uh, because there is no upper limit of number of stamps and uh, their stamps can overlap so for a given for let's say for a given <coughs> matrix 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 1 so here if the stamp length is 2 stamp height and stamp width is 2 we cannot cover this cell we cannot cover this cell or this cell or this cell uh, we can easily cover this cell by putting a stamp here and stamp here so we have to check which cell we can't cover let's say uh, let's say uh, let us check wh which cell we can cover like uh, let's say this uh, take another example let's say 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 everything is 0 so let us find which cells can cover which uh, like uh, which stamps can cover this cell so first stamp is this if the stamp width and stamp height is 2 first uh, stamp is this second stamp is this this can, this can also cover this third stamp is this this can also cover or, or fourth stamp is this this can also cover so what we can see is that every possible value of this rectangle of this rectangle can cover this this portion this this thing okay if we uh, pick a stamp here place a stamp here if the starting point of the stamp is here we can cover this cell if the starting point of the uh, stamp is here we can also cover this cell or this cell or this okay so uh, let's say if our grid is like that grid is like that and uh, if we take uh, r comma c rectangle uh, like if this is the cell and if we take r length like stamp height length rectangle uh, in this side and stamp width length this side okay this is stamp width and this is stamp height if we take this rectangle let's say uh, our stamp height is uh, 2 and stamp width is 3 okay if if any uh, if we can place a stamp in any of this cell then it is possible to cover it so first we have to check 
that for each and every cell first we have to check for each and every cell cell that we can place uh, the stamp or not okay so uh, let's say um, these cells are blocked these cells are already occupied so let's say our stamp height is 2 and stamp length is 2 from which cell we can place the cover uh, like uh, from this cell if we try to place uh, the stamp it is possible because all uh, all the cells in this rectangle is not occupied okay so we can place the stamp uh, for this uh, for the starting point this this is also possible uh, for this it is not possible so let me write uh, if it is possible I am writing 1 and if it is not possible I am writing 0 so this is possible this is possible this is not possible okay because the, uh, the stamp will exceed the uh, width or height and uh, for this it is not possible for this it is not possible for this it is not possible for this is not possible this is not possible this is possible this is not possible this is not possible this is not possible for this is not possible and this these are not possible so we have if we find for which cells uh, the stamp is possible or not then like we have built the array that it is possible or not to place uh, the, if it is one then we can place a stamp starting from from here okay so now we have to figure out that uh, if we try to place uh, like if we try to make this cell by some stamp then we uh, i have already explained that uh, i have to check r minus 1 uh, r comma c rectangle over like uh, <coughs> it is r and it is c so we have to check if uh, we can place something like uh, it is 2 comma 2 so i have to check if uh, in this rectangle some stamp is possible or not yeah for uh, in this rectangle these two are possible so i can cover it by some stamp uh, in this rectangle it is also possible because this is also one so this cell is also covered for this rectangle nothing is possible you can see all are zero so this cell can't be covered can't be covered so we should return false so let me see the uh, let me show you my code and i will try to explain each line of the code how i am doing it okay so this is the code so uh, i am declaring uh, in as a dot size and this is quite common thing now we are uh, checking one prefix sum array and uh, another is is valid array so we can uh, place the stamp here or not so this prefix something, this prefix something which I have done here, you can easily find it in gigs for gigs, uh, like a prefix sum of matrix, you can search prefix sum of matrix and you can find it easily. Okay, mm, so uh, you can find it here. Then after building the prefix sum, we, uh, I try to query is that uh, for, for if I try to place a cell, uh, place a stamp here, it is possible or not. So we, we are trying to check if anything in this cell is zero or not everything in this cell should be zero we can uh, then we can place the stamp okay so anything in the cell anything in the cell is one then we cannot can't place the stamp so if everything in the cell is zero for this then we can place the stamp so uh, we are running the query for the this query function you can uh, find it in gigs for gigs which is sub matrix sum query you can uh, search it in google and you, you will find the link uh, at the top okay so we are querying that uh, if if in the sub matrix if everything the, if the sum of the sub matrix is zero then the, this means that there is no one in the sub matrix then it is valid okay after checking it is valid after building this array then I in let's say after I have built this is valid array um, is valid matrix then we are taking the prefix sum on this is valid matrix okay. Uh, this is the same thing I have done. Uh, the first thing I have done is for A and now we are doing the same thing for is valid and the query is also same. Then we are checking uh, the thing I have mentioned here uh, is that uh, in the in, in this sub matrix if in this sub matrix there is a 1 there is some stamp is possible if is valid is 1 in any of the cell then our answer for this uh, row will be yes. Okay. So uh, if uh, I am querying for i minus r plus 1 to j minus c plus 1 if it is uh, not uh, not 1 if there is no cell in the sub matrix which is 1 then we will just return false else we will return 2 i hope you have understood my solution if you like the video then please subscribe to my channel and if you have any query regarding this uh, you can just ask in the comment section i will uh, try to reply all the comments